The first clip, uh, Melancholia. This is music of Richard Wagner, you know, from Tristan and Isod. Uh -huh. And it's not a music made for the film. Is music, you know, is the film, I don't know if it's the case, but inspired by the music. It's like a, a Visconti um, Death in Venice with the, uh, with the Maler Adagetto. We have this Tristan and Isolde, all this prelude. Well, we have a movie, the opera is around four hours and a half. And, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, unique moment of the music history, I think, because is this kind of is this kind of harmony that never never ends, never arrive to where you are expecting uh, for the harmony to go, even when the planet crash is even not a clear harmony where 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 you feel like okay we arrived to something. It's beautiful to see that is always giving you this kind of hope that we will arrive to a point. In the opera, of course, you have to wait for four hours and a half <laughs> to arrive to that point. <laughs> Normally, we do in concert uh, the prelude and the Liebestod, that you go directly to the end, mm -hmm. and, and then you feel like, ah, thanks God, okay. We arrive to a point. And it's very, it's full, it's, it's full of texture, music, you know. The music takes you, you know, it's an inspiration. All of this suspension, also the movie is kind of, you know, you are floating in something. It's like, to be, it's like the chance to be floating in the mind of somebody. Mm -hmm. This is the feeling. And the music, talking about the power of music, gives to you this feeling. The same happened with the, uh, uh, with uh, the mission, but also it's beautiful to see that I was thinking with the Wagner, uh, uh, with the Melancholia clip, the same happened with, uh, with Vertigo, with the Herman music. It's the same kind of arrival when uh, the guy see the girl coming and whoaf, and explode, but no in a kind of a, a, a this is a musical thing, but in the harmony that you feel like arrive to something. If not, you want more. It's asking you for more. And that is the thing that I feel, two completely different things, or completely different music, to this American Beauty music. It's always like, it's never ending. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, where is taking us, this, 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 this thing? So, it's emotional, it's, it's, it's very emotional, and it's beautiful because how we can see is our life, you know, and our life is a film, and we, and we put the soundtrack that we, we like for our life. And this is the thing, for example, in concerts. You arrive with a, an emotional feeling. You end with another one and you have been there for an hour or for two hours, the same happened with a film. And this is the thing, you know, this is the kind of unique power that culture, arts have. You know, this kind of transformation of a simple moment to a complete life. It's like a, a century instant. It's like when you kiss somebody, my wife, in the case. <laughs> let's okay, let's hope case. so. <laughs> and that kiss, you know, stays forever, and it's only a few seconds. It's these kind of things that we have in our hands, and life, God, give to us. The power of music is, is unique. It's, we, have to, we have to be... Thank I'm thankful. thankful to life to be <laughs> to have this. So, so this comment will likely get me in trouble, but I'm wondering 
what it must be like to be kissed by Gustavo Dudamel <laughs> if the kiss just lasts forever. <laughs> what, what kind of kiss must that I, be I like? can give you one, but backstage. Yeah. <laughs>